Hello everyone, I'm Gene the Groomer, and welcome to the Grooming Table. This is our dog Angel, she's been with us for 11 years. In this episode, we'd like to show you how we like to keep her comfortable while she's shedding. And this is called Advet Waterless Shampoo. The ingredients, the way it smells, I just really, I really like this. And you always want to cover their eyes and their sensitive areas. This is called a Greyhound comb. And I'll put links to all the tools that I'm using in the description. So you always want to work in the direction that the coat naturally lays. And it's easy to figure out about the tail, but the tail actually has a lot of dead hair and just built up uh, cellular dander that comes out of their skin. Look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and we're not even done combing her whole body. Look at that. This is why I believe grooming is love in action. It's taking action. It's doing something and putting an effort so your dog feels comfortable. Look at that, so soft now. There's a noticeable difference after you comb your dog out. And I would say that the biggest difference is the way they look at you. And so I'm stretching the skin so that it's tight while I'm combing all of that dead hair out. Look at that, with that Greyhound comb, I got that much hair out of her. So now we're moving on to the Coat King. So I like to start with the widest tool possible to get the bulk out, then work down to the finer tools. And this is uh, also known as a dematting rake, um, a coat rake, a coat king, all sorts of names for it, but I call it a bear claw. <laughs> it mimics the dog's claws and it just uh, it, it grabs those bundles of dead hairs much better than any other tool that I, I, I've ever used. So I really like this tool, especially for these double-coated dogs that have a heavy undercoat. Um, so that would be Huskies, Shelties, Collies, uh, Retrievers, a lot of these Retrievers. And Angel is a Jindo Retriever mix. Her mother was a white Jindo. Uh, given to us by my mother's friend actually oh look at that oh my goodness and that's just with the comb and that cocaine and this is a little bit finer uh, the teeth are spaced together a little bit closer so remember we're working from the widest to the finer combs because if I were to start with this cocaine here which is very fine it it would just cause too much pain. It would pull too much um, and also damage the coat as well and probably uh, injure the skin. So you want to work with the wider tools so that it gets the bulk of it out first and then you can work your way down to the finer tools and actually go faster now, you notice. And now this is a hand stripping knife and you can use a stripping knife, you could use a furminator, um, any of these type of tools are going to work just fine for you and it's, it's not so much the tool but the intention and how you're going to use it but the reason why you want to go down with these finer tools especially on the legs there if you notice all that hair coming out and that's this really short hair that that coat king is not going to be able to get out the comb is not going to be able to get out and so you can also use uh, rubber um, finger cots, those little fingertip rubber gloves, and use that to help pull it out. But whatever tool you use, uh, remember that the objective is to clear those pores, all that dead fuzzy undercoat, and even some of that top coat is, uh, is dead because they're always in different stages of life. 
So we want to do the same with the back legs right there. Where's there, there's that short here. And if you think about it, um, isn't it amazing how the dog's skin just knows to grow the hair shorter on the legs and grow the hair a little longer on the shoulders, even on her face, if you notice. Her muzzle and the, uh, around her eyes, the hair is really short. But then as you get to the top of her head and then her neck, the hair is longer. And even though those pores are next to each other, it just knows, it just knows to grow that length before it detaches from the root and stops growing. It just, the dogs, the dogs are made so perfectly. And grooming, I believe, is the best way we could work with mother nature to keep them comfortable. It's the mother caressing the daughter's hair. It's the father massaging, you know, their daughter's shoulders, you know, it's, it's, it's love, it's, it's love in action, it's showing that you care. Now this is a, but it's called Skin Solution by Relic that I'm putting on. And there's little spots that she would start licking and that's when I know it's overdue, <laughs> a brushing is overdue, but, um, there's little areas that will come out that are a little red and things like that, little hot spots on your dogs when you, um, when they're shedding and blowing coat like this. And I like to put some of that skin solution on all of those little irritated areas. And that stuff is just amazing. <laughs> uh, I can't say enough good things about it. Now you notice while, while I'm blowing this high pressurized um, air, there's not any hair flying around. And I like to finish off with just one more comb, comb through with the fine, finer side of that uh, Greyhound comb. And those cotton balls you see on the table there, that's just to keep the air from bothering her too much. Those were in her ears. And look at that. That's all I got compared to what we got the first time. Look at that. And that's all we got out of her whole body. That final comb through. Now we know she's comfortable. She's not going to smell. She's not going to shed. Well, too much. <laughs> and those little bumpy areas or little spots, you know, patchy areas that you see, those are all areas where there is just an accumulated um, bundles of dead hair that needed to come out. And now that they're out, look, almost out of habit, she wants to try to go chew out or look at it again. But she doesn't need to anymore because it's comfortable. So that's why we do it, to keep them comfortable and happy because we love them. And I really love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and making us feel so, so loved. Thank you.